Yo, what's going on YouTube family? It's Receiver FG, man, back with another video. I know that sounds a little cringy, but I love you guys, man. You give me the support to want to do this every single day, so just want to say thank you to all you guys. But um, the video today is going to be a pretty cool video, so let me just explain it real quick. And um, if you're going to have to bear with me, I'm going to have to switch builds for part of this video. But just just listen, stay with me, You'll, you're going to enjoy this video. So... I'm going to be ranking every badge in NBA 2K21. This is going to take some time. So if you got some time to waste, hey, I got you, Brody. I got you. All right, so how I'm going to rank badges. So if they're in S tier, I'm going to put it on Hall of Fame. If it's in A tier, I'm going to put it on Gold. If it's in B tier, I'm going to put it on Silver. If it's in C tier, I'm going to put it in Bronze. And then if it's in D tier, I'm going to leave it empty. So you can pause the video, you know, for whatever badge I'm going over at the time. You know, do whatever you want. Skip to a certain badge. I'm not going to put timestamps below. I, I can't do that. I'm sick as can be right now. I've been feeling very under the weather, but you guys gave me a lot of motivation to want to post today. I've been getting a lot of, you know, really helpful comments of you guys just being so good and nice to me man really appreciate that so thanks so much for you know just being kind and being really nice even when i don't feel good i have the motivation to still want to upload a video so let's just get into this so the first badge we are going over is acrobat how good do i think this badge is i'm gonna put it in a tier okay i think this is a good badge but I think they're better therefore it's not an s tier badge if there's a badge better than it or you know then that's when it's not S tier. If it's equal to it, then it can be S tier. There's badges that are equal to each other. So Acrobat is an A tier. And the reason being is I think it's very good. I think, you know, this is a good build. This is good for <laughs> build. This is good for, you know, guards that are able to be very athletic. But, you know, when you're trying to be acrobatic with the ball as a center for me or a glass finisher, you want to dunk the ball. Like, you want to get a reverse dunk. You don't want a reverse layup. This boosts your ability on layups that are hard, you know, that are reverse layups, Euro layups, uh, hop step layups. You don't want that as a center. I want dunks. That's why I have it in A tier. Still, amazing badge, but just not the best in my opinion. So, let's go ahead and go down to back down Punisher. Definitely S tier badge, but only for certain builds, obviously. Like, if you're a point guard, then this is a freaking no tier badge. But for a center, this is an S tier badge. Much needed. It'll help you just shove people into the paint and bang your body down. You're gonna freaking manhandle them. You wanna manhandle someone? Well, back down Punisher will just, it'll just put people under the paint for you. Goes hand in hand with Drop Stepper, which we'll get to in a little bit. But back down Punisher, S tier badge. Obviously, you understand what this is, so I'm not going to go over it too much. we got a lot of badges to go over. So, consistent finisher, I'm going to say that this is a A tier badge. Very good badge, actually. Uh, you need this, to be honest, this year because this reduces the penalty for poorly released layups. Um, you know, if you're using shot stick, which is very hard while trying to do a layup because it's going to happen, you know, in a split second, especially when you're wanting a dunk. This is very helpful when, you, when you're wanting a dunk. Sorry, let me try to speak English. But when you're wanting a dunk, you're going to try to, you know, hold your right stick up and slam all over someone. Then your meter pops up and you let that thing go to Uganda and then some. So you shoot it early or late or we don't even know what we're going to shoot. You know, we wanted a dunk. We didn't even think this was going to be a layup. But this badge will help layups go in. If you wanted to dunk, maybe somehow it's a low contested layup and it just goes in for you because you have consistent finish on. So I still think this is a very viable, very good badge for a finishing badge. Yeah, A tier badge for sure. I think there's a few better than it. And yeah, I mean, very good badge. Obviously, contact finisher. Do we have to go over this? This improves the ability to become a freaking slasher. This makes you dunk the ball on on day head. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. With this badge, you're dunking on everybody. So S tier badge for sure. Not going over this too much. You get more contact dunks. End of the story. Period. Okay. Cross key scorer. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the D tier. I have never really tested this badge personally. So, you know, I've never used it. But I don't see a lot of people use it. I don't find it very good. D tier badge. Don't put this on. Uh, there's better badges, that's why. Maybe if it does work, there's better badges, right? Deep hooks for post scores, S tier badge for everyone else, freaking terrible. I mean, uh, you know, this can be the most effective badge in the game if you're a post scorer, but if you're not, then it's the least effective badge in the game. So I'm going to put this in the S tier for post scores and the D tier for non-post scores. So 
So if you're a post scorer, there you go. You got an S tier badge for your deep hooks. So that's that's why you came to this video. Now get off. You're a post scorer. You're a bot. Okay, I'm, I'm just kidding. Post scorers have lives too. All right, I'm chilling. I know it takes skill. All right, maybe. But uh, S tier badge for a post scorer, D tier badge for non post scorer. This makes you shoot freaking post hooks like you're a demigod if you're a post scorer, or if you have your hook shot up, you will you will literally just knock them down. So. If you have your deep hooks up and you didn't think about this badge, <laughs> rethink it. Even if you're a glass finisher, you got an 85, you know, post hook, you will hit some post, I mean, you will hit some uh, deep hooks, some post hooks with this. I was about to say post fades, you're not hitting post fades with it, but uh, I think deep hooks go into a shooting category technically, so you need like Hot Zone Hunter, a little bit of other badges to work hand in hand with it to make your shots go in, but for the most part, you'll still hit some post fade. I mean, post hooks, Jesus Christ, we're moving on to the next badge, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Drop Stepper, uh, S tier badge for any center in the game, uh, very, very, very viable badge. I've used this nonstop and just dunked all over, just ended people's careers. I've done a drop step and made someone fall like it was like a disgusting contact dunk where someone just could not go up now i'm gonna be a little biased because i know how to you know work the pain a little more than some people maybe so i'm gonna tell you what badges i like but that's the whole point of me being a youtuber and trying to explain my opinions that's what i'm gonna do i'm an opinionated person if you don't like that it's s tier badge then don't use it it's just simple uh, if you disagree let me know i I'm always cool with people disagreeing, man. It doesn't hurt my feelings at all. But I'm going to say drop stepper, S tier badge. All you do, hold LT. You know, you have back down Punisher Hall of Fame. You back them down. They're low in the in the paint. Not low enough to where you're going to shoot a layup. But they're low in the paint. And you freaking just press the X button. And you hold the right stick up. And you pray to God you dunk all over their soul. So, <laughs> drop stepper is an S tier badge. Okay. Fancy footwork. What badge is this? S tier for sure, for sure, for every build. This is an S tier badge if you can get it on Hall of Fame. These are for builds that have this on Hall of Fame, of course, right? Like, this is for Hall of Fame builds. Fancy footwork, S tier badge for sure. Um, if you do hop steps, they're still very, very, very good this year. This also helps you a lot with Euros. So, two things that I have been saying is overpowered for a long time that a lot of people aren't using this year are hop steps and Euros, and they're very, very good still. Put this on if you have not been using it. Trust your boy Receiver FG, man. I know what I'm talking about a little bit. I'm not, not a complete noob when it comes to this 2K stuff. I've been around here for a little minute, um, but yeah, trust me on this one. S tier badge for fancy footwork for sure. Okay, moving on to fast break finisher. Boost player takeover when completing a dunk on, on a fast break. Now, the reason I don't like this badge too much is because it doesn't boost your takeover very much. So, we'll say it boosted a little bit so it does something. It's better than some badges that do absolutely nothing. Like, in my opinion, cross key score does pretty much nothing. We'll put it in the seats here. But other than that, I don't find it that very, very, very viable. God, I'm literally having a speech attack. I'm trying to talk way too fast. Not really sure what I'm doing. I'm trying to get through the video kind of quick and not waste everyone's time. Giant Slayer, don't like it that much, but I know some people do. Um, so we put Fast Break Finisher in the C tier. We'll put it in the B tier. I don't love it. I think it makes you not get as many contact dunks, but I understand it. You know, it's good, but there's a lot of people that are short this year. So how good is Giant Slayer? You know, that's up to you. C tier, I mean, B tier badge. That's just, that's brutal honesty. Don't think it's that good. And, um... Yeah, I just I think it gives you less contact dunks. It says it heightens the effectiveness of layups over taller defenders. So it literally makes you get more layups that go in more. But you don't want that. You want to dunk the ball over taller defenders. You don't want to shoot layups. But if you do get a layup, then this badge, you know, is going to work in your favor if you got it on. So uh, you take that with a grain of salt how you want. I don't use it personally, but I don't think it's a terrible badge. So... Uh, B tier badge. Like I said, that's just a normal average badge. Lob City Finisher D. Okay, why is Lob City P Finisher a D tier badge? I have been experimenting with not using Lob City Finisher. Trust me, this is inside information. So if you stayed seven minutes into the video, you just got a lot for you. So right here, this is a banger that I'm about to give you. Some good information. Lob City Finisher is over rated as piss trust me it is so overrated this is a d tier badge on god it says it improves the chances of completing a successful alley-oop it is so fake i've had this badge on hall of fame so many times because people are like why don't you got it on lob shitty finisher when i'm playing with them so i'll put it on you know then i lose my fancy footwork 
And then I have Lob City Finisher on. For the dunks, I'm already catching. You naturally catch the lobs. You don't need this badge. Please believe me. Please don't put this on. Just just trust me. Like I said, if it, if it doesn't work for you, then go back to putting the badge on. But take this badge off. Try it out. And trust me, this will help you so much. This will save you four badge points that you're wasting on Lob City Finisher or three, whatever you're putting it on. This is a D tier badge that does not work. I've experimented with it for weeks now. It's not good. Trust me on this. Okay, next batch. Pick and roller. Increase shot percentage as the roller in a pick and roll. Obviously, your shot percentage isn't a big deal. You're trying to dunk the freaking ball, but this isn't horrible. We'll put in the C tier. I don't think it's that great. I know some people run it on bronze. That's where you might would put it. C tier badge. Not amazing. You lo you took you got four free badges off Lob City, so maybe put it on a little bit. But I do think there's better badges. Uh, if you have 24 like me. Then you're just going to have to try to run something else. So, pick and roller, C tier badge, obviously, increases your shot percentage as the roller in the pick and roll. But, what does that do for you if you're a finisher? Maybe if you're a shooting glass lock and you pop, uh, and this give, you know this badge pops up, maybe it'll help you a little more. But I still don't think it's that great. C tier badge, let's move on to Pro Touch. Pro Touch, very, very good badge if you have good layup timing. If you know what you're doing, very good. This is also a post score badge again. Uh... I'll put it in the S tier if you're a post score. Again, S tier for post scores. If you're not a post score, then I'm sorry for you even having to listen to this. But for post scores, they need this with deep hooks. They're going to run them both on Hall of Fame, and they're just going to deep hook your balls off. And especially if they have good timing, they ain't missing, I promise. But for the average player, maybe C tier badge. Not that great, but it does a little bit for you. If you get a good layup, then Pro Touch will help you out for sure. So it's proven that the badge works. So maybe we could go B tier, but I'm going to stick with C tier for for regular players because I don't think you need to really run this badge that much. Okay, moving on. Put back boss. Don't love this badge, but I know it works. Uh, I've seen people go crazy with it, but it, you know, when you're thinking of a badge as put back boss, and I have it on in the S, I mean the C tier, Jesus, I have it in the C tier as well, not no S tier. But when you're thinking of a badge such as put back boss, part comes down to split timing decisions like you don't have time to just run in the paint and get a put back dunk that's not realistic your player is going to jump up and grab the air for that rebound that you could have easily snagged so not my favorite badge i've never really ran this i understand that it does work and i've seen people use it but i don't like it and it also increases your shot percentage when attempting a put back after an offensive rebound but to me, it's just not great, okay? But you got to hear me out why. Uh, putback boss, I've heard people, you know, other sinners tell me this badge goes crazy for them. And, I, you know, I'm cool to listening to that. But in reality, you want to grab the offensive rebound and go up strong or kick out to your teammates. You're either trying to get a dunk or kick out. You know, if you're my badge, I mean, if you're my build, you want to dunk the ball. If you're a gl shooting glass lock, then what does putback boss do for you? Not much. If you're a glass finisher and, you know, you want your shot percentage better whenever you're getting an offensive rebound then you're not playing glass finisher right you should dunk the ball if you get the rebound it's free dunks if you you have inside position most likely if you're getting offensive rebounds if you're just snagging over those and kick out don't use this badge though relentless finisher s tier badge for sure um not only does this reduce the fatigue effect from continually finishing at the rim, it's not the main point of the badge. And the point of the badge that people do not explain very much is that this badge for sure gets you more contact dunks. One, your energy completely comes back after you dunk the ball, which is amazing. Two, you have energy when you dunk the ball. Okay, sorry. And this is just an S tier badge all around. It goes crazy for me. Uh, this You will put this on, Hall of Fame, trust me, uh, try it out. If, if I'm wrong, like I said, take the badge off. If you don't like it, then take it off. But I bet you'll notice you get more dunks. I bet you will. Okay. So Relentless Finisher S tier badge. Love that badge. Definitely helps me get more contact dunks. Beautiful, beautiful badge. Okay, Showtime. Boost Team's Takeover Meter after completing a highlight play. Again, we know this works. It works very, very little, though. It's kind of like Fast Break Finisher. You know, Boost Player's Takeover Meter when completing a dunk. This Boost Team's Takeover Meter after completing a highlight play. So, I mean, you will help your teammates out a little bit, but uh, in the sense of it being, you know, very, very viable, I don't see that. So, I just, I can't sit and say that I love this badge. And that's just the truth. I don't love this badge. I think it's C tier. It does work a little, but I don't think it raises your team's takeover anywhere near enough. Uh, I just, I don't see a very, very many people working with this badge. And uh, yeah, uh, C tier badge for sure. 
Slithery finisher. Everyone knows this is an S-tier badge. If you don't know, this badge is amazing. Put it on. Improves a player's ability to avoid contact when attacking the rim. But in reality, this just makes you dunk the ball. Like, non-stop. You're going to try to slither around people and dunk. This is going to help with your hop steps with fancy footwork. Your Euro steps. This is going to help you try to slither around, get reverse dunks. Try to do everything better. S-tier badge for sure. Uh, just put this badge on. Don't even think about it. And just don't look back. You'll notice how good it is for you. Teardropper. D tier badge, not using this garbage. Increases the chance of hitting floaters and runners. I don't know anyone doing that, but if you're doing that, then you are a bot. I'm sorry. Okay, so obviously I can't go over shooting or playmaking right now, but uh, you can probably just fast forward into the video. Actually, I think that I'm going to put in at what point, if you're still with me, I'm going to put in at what point I do finishing, defensive, shooting, and playmaking. So. Uh, there you go, but we're gonna move on to defensive badges, and I'm gonna give my rating on these So just bear with me while I take all my badge points off. This is gonna be a lot of badges that we have to go over so Let's just get straight to a box uh, not very needed this year. Keep it on bronze. That's where it's perfect So, you know how needed is it you have to have it on bronze So it's a little bit of something, but it doesn't do all that much. We'll put it in the B tier not a great badge uh, But you need to have it on something, you know have it on bronze or silver, but this is a B tier badge. It doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, truthfully, not that good. Brick wall. Uh, S tier badge for sure for inside synergy. Got to have this on. Increases effectiveness of screens and drains energy from opponents on physical contact, which is very good. You're taking away um, other guards' energy, which is you know very, what you need to do. And uh, you're setting big bodies, so you know not much to talk about there. I'm going to try to get through the video a little quicker. So S tier for that for sure. Chase down honors. I think this is an A tier badge. I think it's very, very, very viable, very good badge, and I think it does a lot. But obviously, we've seen times where it doesn't work, so I can't put it up there with like all other badges. Like brick wall, you see it work all the time. Clamps, you see it working all the time. You know, you're fighting through. You're playing really locked down defense. So. Uh, this works at a you know a decent clip. You'll see you get chased on blocks. Definitely think it's worth putting on. Definitely put it on something. But I don't think you need it on Hall of Fame, and I don't think it uh, works every time. A tier badge. Okay, clamps obviously S tier badge for guards, centers. This even helps for center. This helps for everybody. Boosts the ability to stay in front of the ball handler on the perimeter. Why is this so good for centers? Because you can make other centers pick up the dribble. You can blitz a point guard as a center and make them pick up the dribble. As a guard, it's self-explanatory. You're staying in front of the ball, the guy that's got the ball dribbling, trying to shoot a three in your dome piece, and you're staying in front of them. S tier badge, of course. Defensive leader, uh, not too too bad. Definitely works. Um. Let's go B tier with it though. You know, certain people that get 30 badges, maybe it's worth putting on. Boost the defense abilities of teammates when in the game. You can see exactly who's able to shoot. You get the little percentages under people's feet. So you know if everyone can shoot right at the start of the game. Uh, you can, you're can. you giving your teammates a little extra uh, defense too. Obviously you're boosting them by like 5 points on defense I think. So definitely not too bad. Or 4. Not sure exactly what it is. Maybe 4 or 5. I think 4. But uh, Heart Crusher, S tier badge for sure. Uh, if you haven't been using this badge, definitely try it out. It's literally incredible. If you get a block or a steal, then with this badge, you can make the whole team cold. In the rec center, this is insane. In the park, this is insane. Uh, this is just overall <laughs> incredible in my opinion uh, heart crusher when the score is low and you get like a snatch block or you just get a normal block you will see people cold and if you get another steal then everyone on their team is going to be cold for no reason they're not going to understand why then they're going to realize you know heart crusher is very good s tier badge for sure um it says de decreases opponents takeover but it literally makes them cold that's that's the point of the badge but yes it also decreases their takeover i guess interceptor still works not you know the best but a good badge a tier badge for sure uh, i still think that this works you know i still see myself getting more steals when i have this on so definitely a good badge to put on helps you get steals in the pass lane and yeah that's pretty much all it does but you know, if you read your passing lanes good, then this is a good badge for you. Definitely put it on. I keep it on all the time. A tier badge for sure. Moving on to Intimidator. Uh, intimidate offensive players, causing them to miss shots more often. S tier badge for sure. Come on now. Everyone's using Intimidator in the whole game. Uh, if you're a center, you're making people miss wide open layups sometimes. I've seen that. People with a low layup rating will shoot a wide open layup. You're just in a proximity. It says wide open still, and they miss. You know, they're probably... in not even sure how they missed that layup but it's your hall of fame intimidator and for other people with gold intimidator you know you obviously want to, want to keep this badge up as high as you can get it it still works very effective gives you contests on shots you really don't deserve a contest on uh love intimidator of course lightning reflexes don't use it all that much but i've heard some people enjoy it so c 
Uh, not really sure that it receives an earlier cue, but, you know, most, eh, it's like an eh. Like, would I use it? No. Could you try it? Maybe. And will it be that great? Probably not. It's a C-tier badge. It's a maybe badge. And uh, maybe if you're lucky, this will show up and pop up and work. And I'm in Florida, and it's always raining. Like, we're like 20 minutes into this, and it's raining yet again. I'm sorry, guys. Please deal with me. Please just bear with me if you're still here. Moving truck. Okay, moving truck. This badge last year was really good. We're going to put it in the B tier this year. Uh, not a lot of humongous players. A few post scores, but other than that, not a lot of insanely big players. So B tier badge, all it does is help you move people around in the post, make you not get back down, not get baby bodied. Uh, pretty simple right there. So B tier badge. Going to try to get through this even quicker now that it's raining like crazy and we're going to have to stop recording. Yeah, it's getting worse. Okay, off ball pest. What do I think? D tier badge doesn't do anything. Improves the player's ability to bump and harass the offense off the ball don't think that's true don't think it really works uh, not my favorite badge let's just move on to pick dodger pick dodger s tier badge for sure this is so good for guards uh yes it doesn't always work but when it does work you just slide right through the screens so i mean it has its downfall that sometimes it doesn't work but it's something you got to keep on everyone's still running screens you need this badge uh, for sure. Definitely an amazing badge. Obviously, you fight through screens like a demon. Okay, pickpocket A-tier badge. I think it works really good this year. I think if you got it on, you can rip centers easier. Uh, you rip guards. Not always going to work. That's why it's an A-tier and there's badges better than it. But, you know, I really love pickpocket. I really think it works good. And, you know, A-tier badge. Same thing for pogo stick. A-tier badge. Still think it works. Helps you just jump nonstop, nonstop. You're going to keep getting contests if people just go up, go up. You can just jump like a moron. and uh, You look like freaking... Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. You're just jumping all over the place, right? But you're still making good plays, and it's you don't look like an idiot. You can just say, I got pogo stick, bro. I'm jumping 100 times because I want to. So, pogo stick, still a very good batch. Post move lockdown versus post scores. This is an S tier badge. You're going to shut post scores down. But in reality, what am I going to rate this badge? Probably C tier. You never really need it. Then you run into a post score, and you really need it, and you don't got it on. So, you never need it whenever... You have it on, and then when you don't have it on, you really need it when you run into that bad matchup. C-tier badge, never need it until you really need it. Like I said, post-move lockdown. I wish that was just a built-in to your defensive character, right? Like, why do we have to have post-move lockdown? My, my center can't just understand how to lock down post-moves. He's a center. He's a 99 overall. Come on. Work with me a little bit. Uh, rebound chaser, S-tier badge. Need this on Hall of Fame, of course, if you're a rebounder. Uh, improves the ability to chase down rebounds. Let you jump wide, grab, snag, and jump all over the place for rebounds. So, love this badge for sure. Same thing with rim protector. We'll move quickly on. Improves the ability to block shots, which is good. And it gives you a ton of takeover when you block a shot. And it helps your teammates get takeover for playing defense. That's very much needed. And it works really well. So Rim Protector is an S-tier badge. I really love this badge. And yeah, helps a lot. Definitely will help you. Put it on. Use it. Tell me what you think. I don't know. Reduces energy when lost. Tireless defender. Uh, probably a B-tier badge. Not too bad. Not too great. Just some mid you know what i'm saying it's just some mid it's, it's in the middle not really sure what to say of it too much uh but yeah tireless defender and uh, reduces energy lost when you know holding that right trigger non-stop on defense trying to chase people through screens so try it if you want not terrible but not the best trapper uh makes life difficult for the offensive players when trapped do not put this on d tier badge freaking cruise okay a tier badge again for worm um Allows rebounders to swim or spin out around box outs. And then with people running low box, Worm will go ballistic for you. But do you look cool using Worm when no one else is using it? No, you're wasting badges on Worm. But it is viable. So I have to be honest with it. This is an A-tier badge. Um, I got to get on my point guard so I can do my Hall of Fame ratings on shooting and playmaking. I'm not putting the timestamps in, man. Just watch the freaking video. Uh, let me get to my point guard real quick, though. Okay. Be right back, guys. Okay, well, if you're still with me, then we're going over the shooting badges S, A, B, C, and D tier, obviously. Uh, you still know what I'm doing. So, catch and shoot, obviously an S tier badge for sure. Boost the chance of hitting a jump shot immediately after a catch. Not really needed on point guards too much, but for spot up shooters, this is an S tier badge. You very, very need this badge badly. Uh, this will help you out for sure. So, I really like uh, catch and shoot. Uh, it helps a lot. And if you're a guard, then you could still run it on bronze. It'll help you out a little. So... S tier badge for sure. Clutch shooter. Increases the ability to knock down shots in clutch moments. Not horrible. We'll put it in the B tier. It's not too, too, too bad. But it's not great. It's uh, just 
decent. Whenever the game's on the line, you know, you got Clutch Shooter on, you'll probably hit that shot. So there you go. Uh, clutch Shooter's B tier. Corner Specialist, also B tier. Not an amazing shot. I mean, not an amazing badge, but it will help out. Gives a boost to shots taken near the corner. I like it. Helps out for sure, especially for people that are, you know, ready to spot up in the corner and just knock it down. They they run this badge on Hall of Fame and they'll just drill it. So definitely good, but I think you can hit uh, shots in the corner without having this badge on too. So not needed, but will help. So B tier badge. Deadeye, S tier, of course. Deadeye is amazing. Reduces the impact of a defender who is closing out. You know, you got to have this on if you're a point guard. Uh, it's going to help people not get contests even when they're kind of close to you, and it'll help you still green shots. So I love uh, Deadeye for sure. I think it's very good. Uh, Deep Fades, I guess C tier badge. I don't know anyone that's using this unless you're like a post scorer or you're a stretch that's trying to shoot with, you know, one second left and you just try to fade, but I wouldn't put this badge on. C tier badge. I understand it probably works, but, you know, obviously I've never used it and I don't like it. Difficult Shots is going to come as a surprise. I'm going to put this as an A tier badge. I think Difficult Shots have been nerfed to oblivion. You know, it's not as easy to shoot fades anymore, so... It's in the A tier. You know, still lets you shoot off the dribble. Basically, you know, difficult shots are just when you're fading or when you're, you know, doing certain moves, you're going to shoot a difficult shot. So, uh, yeah, A tier badge. I'm sticking with my opinion. And, yeah, don't think it's great. Don't think it's the best, but it's not the worst, of course. Um, it's a very viable badge. You should put it on. Uh, just use it at however you think it will impact your gaming experience. Okay, flexible release. Uh, very good badge this year. 2K Labs did a full video on why this badge is so good. This is an A tier badge for sure. Reduces the penalty suffered from mistimed jump shot releases. I think it gives you like a 10% boost now on gold. You only need it on gold, so it's an A tier badge. That makes it even better. You only need it on gold. It doesn't even give you that much more of a boost on Hall of Fame. So put this badge on gold. Try it out. Very, very good. Amazing badge. I've been, you know, playing around with it a little more when I'm on my guard, and I like it. It works a lot, and it also boosts your green percentage when you're shooting. Even when you don't shoot a like a, a white, this badge is still helping you, so it helps your green window. Amazing badge. This could probably be S tier, but we're going to put it in the A tier because I do think there are some badges better. Green Machine. S tier badge, of course. This is going to help you just keep greening up. If you've green two, you're just going to keep greening, man. This will help you so much. Green Machine is definitely an S tier badge, and I really love Green Machine this year. So, S tier badge for Green Machine. It helps you just keep hitting greens nonstop. Hot Start is an A tier badge. This is an amazing badge if you're not using it. It improves the player's shooting ability after making first shot until a miss occurs. But it also gives you a boost to hit your first shot if you didn't know that. So now you learned a little more. So this is going to give you a boost to shoot on shooting your first shot. And then it's going to have that same boost while you're shooting shot two, three, four until you miss your first shot. So I think this badge helps out a lot. You know, definitely try it out. It's very good. Hot Zone Hunter is an S tier badge. Of course, everyone knows this. this is helping you in your hot spots. And it's just knocked down, especially when you get all your hot spots, you become a better player. And, you know, most people are going to have all their hot spots. So Hot Zone Hunter is going to go berserk, baby. Boost the shot percentage for attempts taken in a player's favorite hot spot. Obviously, you know, we know what that is. It just helps you when you're shooting in hot spots. Still an amazing badge this year. And, you know, if you don't have your hot spots, go to my career. It takes you a little bit, but you'll get it ice in the veins. This is a, nah, this is a D tier badge. Improves a player's free throw percentage during critical moments. When is this ever going to be needed unless you're in the rec center? Come on now. Even when you're in the rec, this is so, such an unlikely, you know, chance of needing it. And plus, free throws are still easy to hit. So, terrible. <laughs> hate that badge pick and popper also not good we'll put it in the c tier elevates the shot percentage for a, for an attempt taken off a pick and fade situation uh i don't like this badge too much uh c tier badge probably helps shooting glass locks a little if they set the screen and roll outside so you know put that on if you're shooting glass lock on something but don't think it's needed too much pump fake maestro d tier badge decreases the penalty that comes from shooting after pump fakes what is that Oh my god, do not put this badge on. That is a D tier badge. Range extender, S tier badge, of course, extends the range from which you can shoot effectively. I mean, you're going to shoot from half court when you have it on Hall of Fame. S tier badge for sure. Slippery off ball, C tier badge. Strengthens a player's ability to get open off the ball. Don't think it does a whole lot, but, you know, try it out if you want. I know some people use it, so... 
Steady shooter, as much as I hate the badge, I don't think it's very viable, but if you can get it to work, then it becomes a B-tier badge. You can shoot the ball 100% smothered, but it also decreases your shooting for open shots. So you can't hit open, but in takeover, you can hit you can literally green 100% smothered. So I'll be honest, it's a B-tier badge. You don't want to put this on, though, in my opinion, but use it with a grain of salt, I guess. Tireless shooter, don't think it works all that well this year, but I do think it does something. So B-tier badge, again, helps you hit shots when you're tired as balls. Uh, try it if you want. See how it works. Let me know. Uh, try to change my mind. I don't think it's that great, but if you think it's something amazing, then let me know. Okay, volume shooter. This badge is good this year. A tier badge. Boost shot percentage and shots accrue throughout the game. But this helps you just shoot the ball in general. As soon as you start shooting shots, this you know your shot attempts go up. And this just helps you out a good bit. So volume shooter, I like the badge. I like the, how it works. And it looks pretty good. So Okay, well, I'm going to be completely honest. I got to fix my recording. My dad came in the room and got to talk to Pop. So we'll just restart with playmaking I was already a little bit into it but we'll restart it okay ankle breaker is a D tier badge this badge is terrible you don't get ankle breakers this year why would you use it badge is cruised do not use this badge please believe me bailout S tier badge for sure amazing 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 badge is freaking godlike um, you can throw out a passes when you know you can throw out a bad shots basically that's the whole breakdown of this badge. S-tier badge for sure. Very, very good. Okay, break starter. A-tier badge. On a center, trust me, this badge goes dummy. You can just launch it. So I love the badge, of course. Obviously, you're going, only going to use this on a center. So uh, S-tier badge on bailout. Sorry, forgot to put it up there. Um, A-tier badge on break starter for sure. Improves it, a player's ability to make outlet passes. So it lets you just launch the ball. Very, very good. And uh, I really like using this badge on my center. I got it on gold, I think. So, yeah, really, really good badge. Really enjoy it. And, you know, it does a lot for me. So, Dimer, obviously S-tier badge. Helps your teammates shoot. Does a lot. Still works, of course. And it gives them a pretty good boost still, if I'm correct. So, yeah, very, very good badge, of course. Downhill, A-tier badge. Put this on your center. You will fly down the court when you grab a board. If you have gold unpluckable on your center with gold downhill... You grab a board and go coast to coast. You see me go coast to coast all the time. This is one of the main badges that helps me do it. If you made my build, then you know why I made it with so many f playmaking badges. I made it with third freaking team. I made it with more playmaking when I could have. I could have had an extra defensive if I would have taken one less playmaking, but I wanted an extra playmaking just to get to maximize downhill and be able to have bailouts. So downhill is an amazing badge, a tier for sure. Lets you fly with the ball. Really good for a point guard. Really good for a center. Really good for everything. Really, dream shake. C tier badge. C post scores use it. Sure, it's good for them. Obviously, never really used it. Don't plan on using it. And uh, raises the chances that a defender bites when doing fakes in the post. So, use it at your own will, I guess. Uh, flashy passer is an S tier badge. Badge is freaking insane. I made a whole video on why this badge is so good. But it makes your takeover go berserk if you get the ball. What I like to do, get my point guard, throw me a flashy. Then I go in and try to get a contact dunk. You can get team take by eight points, I think. Six or eight points, which is ridiculous. That is actually insane. Eight points and have team takeover. Just think about that. Flashy passers for sure and S tier badge uh, helps so much. Very, very good. Definitely use that if you're a point guard. Please trust me. Throw flashies to your spot ups. You'll get everyone's takeover in a game. Okay, floor general, S tier badge again. Uh, helps, you know, your other guards be able to speed boost do all kinds of things depending on their ball handle so this really helps your team out with um being able to dribble and being able to speed boost being able to shoot better it just gives them uh, an overall boost to everything on offense you know when they're in the game with you so definitely run floor general s tier badge of course love floor general it's an amazing badge um, moving on to handles for days, of course, S tier badge. You need this uh, to be able to dribble. Everyone knows you can't dribble unless you have handles for days. So, very much needed. Lob City Passer, again, C I don't think you need this badge, but I'll say C tier just in case. Improves the chances of completing a successful alley oop. If you throw alley oops from Uganda, you can still throw it without this badge on. I've used it, I've done it many times. You don't need the badge, trust me. But if you're going to think you need it, then put it on something, put it on silver, try it out. It's on you though. Don't think you need it. Needle threader, good badge, B tier, not great. Um, 
doesn't I don't notice a whole lot with it I still think people get pass lanes like yeah I mean you kind of thread the needle you can make a little bit better passes but people can still get lane steals with interceptors so it's a B tier badge not too great not too 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 bad pass fake maestro D tier don't put this on increases the effectiveness of fast fakes pass fakes what does that even mean uh People don't bite on anything this year, and it's, AI, it's not like you're playing against the AI nonstop. You're playing against, you know, people in the park that are real. So pass fake maestro does nothing. Post spin technician is very very good. A tier badge for sinners. Uh, this helps you. Like when you post spin, you don't even need back down punisher and drop stepper when you're doing this against point guards. Like if you don't even have it on, at least have post spin technician. I keep this on all the time. Um, with that really quick move I showed in my dribble tutorial yesterday, uh, this badge always pops up for me. That's why I like it so much. So I love post spin technician. A tier badge uh, really helps you against point guards and centers too. So it helps against both. And if you have it on, it's only going to give you a bonus. So why not run it right? Go. Um, I almost said A tier for quick first step. S tier, of course. Quick first step's amazing. Um, it just lets you explode out of your first step. You're very, very quick. And, uh, yeah, pretty much lets you speed boost as a center if you got it on, you know, pretty high. But a very amazing badge, of course. So, space creator, D tier badge. Can't can't get ankle breakers. Can't create space. Doesn't work. Uh, we'll see if they patch it. And then maybe I can update the video a little bit. But for now, D tier badge. Doesn't do anything. Uh, stop and go is an A tier badge. Definitely does something. You can, you know, your ability to start, stop, start. It's like red light, green light, you know, like you just start and stop really, really quick. So, very good badge. A tier for sure. I think there's a couple better, but it works and it's good. A tier badge. Tight handles. D tier. Does nothing. Terrible. Can't get ankle breakers. Like I said, we'll update it if they fix the game. And unpluckable is an S tier badge. And, uh, you know, it just helps you not get ripped as much. Not saying it always works because you're still going to get ripped with this on Hall of Fame. But you need it. Everyone needs it. It's just how the game is. Hope you enjoyed the video though, guys. Took a little bit of time to work on this. So if you're still with me, bro, please leave a like. Let me know. If you made it all the way through this video, I'm being dead serious. Say something. I'm going to give away a, like a small gift card if you made it all the way through this video. Say uh, Ankle Breakers Cruised if you made it all the way through. If you skip to the end, I'll check. I can see your watch time. You bought. Don't test me. So, uh, yeah. It's your boy, Shiro G. Love y'all, man. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out. Peace.